I consider a tree. I can look on it as a picture, stiff column in a shock of light or splash of green shot with the delicate blue and silver of the background. I can perceive it as movement, flowing veins on clinging, pressing pith, suck of the roots, breathing of the leaves, ceaseless commerce with earth and air and the obscure growth itself. I can classify it in a species and study it as a type in its structure and mode of life. I can subdue its actual presence and form so sternly that I recognize it only as an expression of law, of the laws in accordance with which a constant opposition of forces is continually adjusted, or of those in accordance with which the component substances mingle and separate. I can dissipate it and perpetuate it in number, in pure numerical relation. In all this, the tree remains my object, occupies space and time, and has its nature and constitution. It can, however, also come about, if I have both will and grace, that in considering the tree, I become bound up in relation to it. The tree is now no longer it. I have been seized by the power of exclusiveness. To effect this, it is not necessary for me to give up any of the ways in which I consider the tree. There is nothing from which I would have to turn my eyes away in order to see, and no knowledge that I would have to forget. Rather is everything, picture and movement, species and type, law and number, indivisibly united in this event. Everything belonging to the tree is in this, its form and structure, its colours and chemical composition, its intercourse with the elements and with the stars are all present in a single whole. The tree is no impression, no play of my imagination, no value depending on my mood, but it is bodied over against me and has to do with me as I with it, only in a different way. Let no attempt be made to sap the strength from the meaning of the relation. Relation is mutual. The tree will have a consciousness then, similar to our own? Of that I, I have no experience. But do you wish, through seeming to succeed in it with yourself, once again to disintegrate that which cannot be disintegrated? I encounter no soul or dryad of the tree, but the tree itself.